Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Let's grab ourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks, and let's get into today's video, which is, so I've gone to the charity shops. I love going, being frugal, going to the charity shops and thrifting and finding some lovely buys. I also love to upcycle pieces too. So I've got a little haul here that I'm gonna show you. I'm also gonna insert a clip as well of another item that I got that I've now upcycled so you can see what it looks like. I've got a little bit of the process in there as well. Um, so I've got some really nice finds. So today's video is basically showing you how you can buy stuff really cheaply or for free or things that you already have around your home and turn them into something really expensive with just a little bit of time a little bit of effort maybe a little bit of styling involved as well and um, so i'm going to get in get yourself a nice cup of tea and some snacks i've not got a tea yet I've literally just got off the school run and i thought i'll film this quickly while albert's napping and um, so the first thing i got was this beautiful picture frame now you're going to see i have gone and bought photos from the photoshop and put them in and um, i needed to size them up but I got this lovely photo frame, it's like a lovely wood effect on here and it had the mount on the inside. Um, it is from the range. When I showed a couple of my friends, I was like, that's from the range. And there's such nice photo frames that I've gone and bought some more for another part of my living room. I literally paid like 50p for this frame. It's so nice. It had the back on it. It was brand new. It still was in the cellophane. Um, and I went and had this picture in black and white printed up of me, Gary and the kids when we was on holiday. Um, so I got this for 50p. You would probably would have seen this. I bought a blue frame that had bobbles around it probably about six months ago. And I also got this frame. I didn't know what to do with it. This lovely beige frame. I paid 50p for this as well. Um, but what I've done is when I was in the Photoshop, I didn't know they could do this. So you get your pictures printed. They also sell the mounts. So I bought a little mount in there. It was like 60p. Perfect size for the frame. I just showed the picture I wanted done for the lady and she'd done the rest for me. So she put the print in there. It was like 60p. And then, you know, your you frame, like your... Um, mount as well so i've got two beautiful frames that together have cost no more than like one pound fifty with like getting the mount and actually paying for the frames and then obviously just getting your pictures so and i think pictures are a really nice personal touch and they can look really nice so you can paint frames charity shops are full of frames full of them you can spray paint them do whatever you want and they're really really nice but i hit the jackpot with them too they're really lovely um i feel like i've got a cough in my mouth <laughs> Then it's probably because we been snuggling up Bertie and he kisses my face. Um, so then what I got as well was some more charity shop books. Now, I'm a bit of a sucker for getting a charity shop book and taking the sleeve off it. So it reveals really beautiful books. Um, but in my sort of like dining snug area, I have a lot of greens. So I want the ones that have the green binder. Now, I kid you not, these were the ugliest looking books you've ever seen. This one was a flower book, and this is by Pop and Good. And to be honest with you, I do like having a look through these as well. Some of them have got the, like the most beautiful pictures, and it shows you how to arrange certain floral arrangements, reefs. This is going to be an amazing book. But I literally paid like thirty p for this book, and the slip cover on it was like very faded, very old fashioned picture of a flower on the front of it. And um, so I got this. And this one's called Flowers by Paul Brook and Gould. Um, really nice book to be fair, very large. It's probably not gonna fit on the shelf that I'm gonna wanna put it on. Um, and then I got this one as well. So I got um, another book about, I think it was about perfume. So yeah, I think it was about perfume and it looked the same as this and it was one of my Christmas books. So I got them in burgundy, gold and red with green to sort of stack up at Christmas time as like a piece of styling around the living room that makes it look Christmassy too. Um, so I got this book, it's a bit damaged on the spine and stuff. Um, and what I loved about it is, is I love it when you open a book and it's got like a little note in it from someone. I feel like it's just nice. Like Ben sent it to his friend Jan um, in 1997. And then another lady's bought this. Sheila and Dennis have bought this for a man called Andy. And they've written a little poem for him. There was a young man called Andy who was really rather dandy. His passion for wind put him in a spin, that dashing young man called Andy, which I thought was just really cute. Um, so we've got a book as well, so that you can, it's all about Suffolk um, and crafts and Felix Lowe's story. So not too far from where I'm from, so there's a little bit of history in there as well. So people can read these if they want, but it looks beautiful as well. This one I got a few months back, you probably would have seen this, but I wanted to show you as well. It's normally the garden and flower books. If you're looking for green, it's normally that. Books about the sea, um, and coastal are usually navy if you're looking for navy. Red is normally sort of like autobiographical books or poetry. Um, 
Beige is normally really gritty stories, like every beige book I've got. So you just go in there, have a look. They have lots in the charity shop. Just have a little peek and see when you take the slip cover off what it looks like. Really beautiful book. So I'm going to stack these up. I also got for 50p this little like milk jar. I know lots of people get these. These are like the most common thing you can find, aren't they? At like boot sales and charity shops. But I got myself one and I thought it was really cute. And I was gonna buy some like little candles to put in it because I thought it'd be nice for a little candle holder, but I didn't have any. So what I done is I just got a normal tapered candle cut it down and then with a lighter, slightly lighted it to make it sort of like thingy before I shoved it in to make the shape and then it stayed there. But it's gonna be on the shelf so you're not gonna see it, but you know, wobbling about. But I thought that'd be really cute for that. And then also for a pound I paid for this, I think, I got this Kathleen Sands um, little pot, which is really speckled. I don't know if you can see up close, it's really nice. It's got like a little brown rim on it, really cute. So I got these. I'm gonna show you now what I've got on my table as well, because these are bits that I'm gonna wanna style up on the shelf. And a lot of them I've got previously from the charity shop. Just a few bits I've got from around the home. I didn't wanna buy new stuff. So I've got a shelving unit in my dining like snug bit. Um, and I had all my Emma Bridgewater teapots on it. And as it's getting to sort of wintry autumn time, I'm gonna be putting all my pumpkins out. I've got a lot of whites and greens and oranges. And I didn't want it to be too clashy. So I've put my teapots under in my little teapot cupboard down below like where I am here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is, is style that up differently. And when I have the Christmas tree, a couple of months in front of it, it's just gonna look really classy and elegant. So against that, I thought that looked quite nice. So I'm gonna show you the bits I've got now. I'm gonna style that up and then what I'm also gonna show you is I bought an amazing lamp. So I will insert a little clip now of the lamp that I bought. Um, so I got this from the charity shop and it was literally such an amazing find. So I was looking for a lamp. So in my living room, I've done all the paneling that you may have seen me do. And I had my sideboards either side. Now we was gonna have the carpenter build a little cupboard in like a TV unit, but built in, in the living room. So we had more space. It's gonna get rid of the sideboard so you could see all the um, paneling, just have a lot more room. So when Albert's playing with these toys and stuff, because this is kind of the family area, but in there it's like more space for all the toys and stuff. Um, and the sideboards we'd have for years, I said to Gary, we can put them down in our summer house, use them down there, use them for storage, they'll look pretty. Um, but then we didn't have a lamp. And I said to Gary, rather than buying a little table, side table for a lamp, which is gonna cost a lot of money, I've been looking in all the charity shops, on Facebook, Gumtree, and I've not found any that are like sort of less than sort of 60 quid um, to use my original lamp. So I said to Gary, we might even be able to get a floor standing lamp that might be cheaper. Like I've seen a few like secondhand ones. Um, so it was like, okay. Um, and then I went past this really beautiful shop um, in Colchester called Dear Grace and I saw the most ideal stand ever. And I didn't like the lampshade that was on it. So the man said, I'll sell it to you without the lampshade for a better deal. And it was an amazing deal, I can't lie. But I said, I'm gonna ponder and have a little think about it. And as I was walking to go back to my car, in the window of the charity shop, they had this floor standing lamp, which I'll show you, and it was 20 pound. I left the lampshade there, it was very tasseled and vintage looking, which some people love, I know, but it's not my style. Um, so I'll show you a little clip of that now, and I'm gonna show you how I got on and sanded that too, after I've styled all this as well. And then in the end, what I did do as well is, I thought one of them sideboards would actually look better in my hallway and more substantial for storage and more classy and grand looking if I do it up in the hallway. So I've also ended up upcycling that, so I'll show you that as well. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the little clip now of the lamp. Hopefully it'll get you excited to see the rest of the video of what I've done to it. Um, but I'm gonna style all these bits up now and hopefully you'll enjoy this part of the video as well. And then I'll get in and show you the other bits of the crafts. It'll just continue. So I've got my stuff ready guys, but I'm gonna be putting on it. I just wanted to use the bits I got from the charity shop and then bits I just got from around my house. And um, so I got this from the White Company um, in the sales after Christmas. And to be honest with you, it's just beautiful. They have got similar in the range actually at the moment. And um, I will link this for you if you wanna have a little look. I will link everything I can in the description box below. Um, but I had this in my toilet and I just thought it looked really cute, but no one really saw it. So I'm gonna try and see if that'll look nice on there. Um, I've just got a couple of the smallest bowls to see whether they'll fit on the shelf in. These are from TK Maxx, like this bobble effect, but I know Stacey Solomon has a range in Asda, 
which is really similar. Um, and I know next as well, I've got these photo frames that were the charity shop. And then also this one here. And um, I think this was a charity shop find as well, or I might've got this in choice, um, which is like a seconds shop for um, next. These two items are from the charity shop. You would have seen this if you've been around on my channel for a little while. This was a pound, and I think this was one ninety nine. and I got this from a charity shop that was in Colchester. I love this because it's actually like an olive pot with an olive spoon, which is just adorable. Um, I got my little candles. So these bits were actually in the living room on the other sideboard that was out there. Um, so I thought I'd bring them in here, see if they'll go on the shelf. A little wicker basket that's usually in the kitchen, um, but I'm just using that now. I haven't got flowers to put in it, but I might decant these into there instead. These are the Fedgecos from Ikea, um, but I've all got them in this little Hudson home pot at the moment. And um, we'll have to excuse my size that they're very dual wash, guys. But we had family all over yesterday. We went out for a big, like, country walk, um, and then we had Stu when we got home. It was really lovely, and we just chilled so i've not really done much cleaning but this is all the stuff that we've got including the stuff that i've showed you from the charity shop um, and i'm going to style it up now open up the window i'm breathing in September I can feel the wind blow and the late summer sky is like a dying ember let me know if you think that there's something a bit annoying there that needs shuffling round and um, so this photo frame was too big to go on any other shelf so it's had to go on the top and um, so I pop that there as with the um, reef too so I thought I'd pop a two little little things in there to sort of break it up um, and then on the bottom shelf I thought it works quite well because the radio is then to hand and um, break it up like that I don't know if that little pot's just a bit too much there Maybe I should just take this off um, it looks a bit better, slightly neater. And then on the worktop, I've just got my book with my little um, little foliage in there. I'll probably just sort of like put a nice little coaster on mat here, um, just for when we're having cups of tea and stuff and we're on the sofa. Um, but yeah, really happy with this. I think it looks rather cute. Maybe I should take the radio off and put the radio down here um, and then have the pot there. I'm not sure if that would work slightly better maybe let me know first way or second way um but yeah i'm gonna get in and show you the lamp now so today to upcycle the lamp i'm gonna be using the oven cleaner hack so i got myself some elbow grease spray i have seen people do this online and they've used an um, oven cleaner called easy off which does seem to work better or it may just be because this lamp's very, very dark. But all I'm going to need to do is just spray this thickly all over the lamp um, and just leave it to soak. And then it should um, start to get all the varnish off. I did actually remember I bought this from the charity shop too as well for £2. And this is highly varnished. So what I'm going to do is spray this with the same oven cleaner hack to see how this comes up. Um, once you spray it, you are going to need some kind of wired wool and give this a really good scrub. And it should take a lot of the varnish off once i am um, scrubbed it all i rinsed it all down and let it dry overnight and this is what was left over it definitely needed a sand and um, so i just got my mouth sander from black and decker it's a really good little tool actually and i just sanded what was left i would suggest oven cleaner hack though because this was quite tedious but i only had a little bit to actually do and as you can see the difference in the base is still quite distressed looking but i love it like that and the end result is here i absolutely love it i feel like it's so fitting in my living room i bought this shade off ebay and i just thought it was really really nice um, with the lamp base and I absolutely love it and this is how the little candlestick turned out now this didn't need no sanding and it scrubbed off straight away so I think it depends on what would you have 
And then lastly, I was looking at to put my sideboard down in the summer house and I realised actually it was a much nicer quality than the one that was already out here. However, the varnish was very orange, there was a lot of scratches and dents in the front of this unit and the paint had chipped. And also as well, I thought the bottom of it was kind of aged a bit the way the feet were. I thought I could make this look a bit more substantial and a bit more classy and solid instead of the way it is now. So I'm just going up close to show you. So I did sand the top completely back. I also sanded out any dents and scuffs that were there. And I found in my scraps of wood, this little piece like off cut of skirting, which was the perfect size. So I tacked this on once I cut it with my chop saw and it just finished the unit off beautifully before ready to paint. guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video you'll have to let me know what your favorite upcycle was was it the display of all the little charity shop bits together was it the new sideboard in the hallway or was it the lamp the lamp was so cute also so i want to let you know with the lampshade i had a little look so it's from a company called pookie um but i don't have pookie kind of money i had a look on there it was rather expensive and i was looking for like a greeny kind of one when I went on there and found one, it was like £80 and I was like, I can't do it. So I had a little look on eBay and I found the one that I've got on there now. Now, it wasn't the colour one that I wanted. I wanted like the ribbed shade. It was the same shade, same size, but not the colour way I wanted. And the way that the guy had taken the picture, it kind of looked like it had like a yellowy tone to it, like a yellowy beige. And I thought, I'm going to take a chance on it because everywhere's beige in there. I've got colours on the cushion, so I can sort of like go for a bit of different colour when it came it couldn't have been more perfect had it tried and i hadn't even seen it on the website so i'm so pleased it's like very much fate in that um so yeah i'm gonna go now let me know what was your favorite take care see you later bye